Hey man. Hey man. You ready for your interview? Uh, I am. Okay, cool. What is this place? This is Huawei's health lab in Dongguan. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to Huawei Decoded, a series where Huawei employees answer questions from the internet. Today, I'm joined by Robert Yandel, a senior product expert for Huawei consumer devices. Are you ready to face the internet? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. This, this special one's pretty easy. So, what are smart wearables? In the wearable category, you can see we have traditional type of products like traditional watches, mm -hmm. and then you've got smart watches. So smart watches are devices that can link with other devices and utilize sensor-based technologies to provide you more information about your overall health and fitness. If you're cycling, for example, you'll need to access specific cycling data. So mm -hmm. your speed, your cadence, you know, how powerful are your legs kind of pushing the pedals down. Mm -hmm. uh, and so all of that data is specific to cycling. And our devices will provide specific data catered to over 20 different specific workouts and that's in conjunction with our products actually delivering up to 100 plus workout modes okay. uh, for consumers. Big question on the internet is, are wearable devices like this accurate? Relatively accurate. I mean, wearable devices leverage a whole wide range of very scientific technology to provide you with accurate data. And so I think for from the accuracy standpoint, we've done a relatively good job in 11 years to figure out how to provide the most accurate data to consumers with our wearable products. And these devices that you're seeing here, they leverage the TrueSense system, which is kind of like a breakthrough you know, accuracy system for our wearable products that combines your know, sleep data and heart rate data and your know, respiratory data all together to provide more accurate data to consumers. Can a wearable help me lose weight? You don't just put the wearable on your body and then all of a sudden you lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> keep talking, keep talking. If your goal or your objective is to lose weight, then you need to understand, you know, you know, what are you eating and then how much exercise are you doing? And so your wearable device is designed to actually support you with both of those, to help to guide you on nutrition and then also to guide you on your calories and, and, and via workouts and, and to encourage you along that journey. Do athletes use them? Yeah, so a wide range of athletes will use a various number of different wearable devices depending on the type of athleticism or athletic sport that they're participating in. Okay. My brother is an Ironman. Uh, he runs you know, 40 kilometers, swims 10 kilometers, cycles 100 kilometers. So he is using wearable devices to maintain a, a clear picture on his health, his heart rate, uh, you know, his body's performance, you know, very endurance-based exercise. Okay. Uh, if you're an Olympic sportsman, you may be using some higher grade, larger equipment to get a, a more accurate reading of that health data. But for a large majority of consumers, wearable products is the main go-to device to get access to that kind of accurate data. The watch itself is collecting a lot of data and a lot of people rightly have concerns about the security of that data. So is my health data secure my wearable device? Okay, so wearable devices in today's market do collect a relatively large amount of data in terms of uh, your overall physiological health. And so it's important to understand that that data is safe. And if you look at the current Huawei wearable devices, they are actually used in multiple regions and countries around the world, uh, no matter Europe, Middle East, Africa, Latin America region, and all of those devices are incredibly safe. Why? because we put you in control of what data our products get to see. We put you in control of what data is actually shared between devices. And I think that that's actually a really important question, but it's also a really good answer. A lot of people are asking, are Huawei watches compatible with different devices? <laughs> of course. Okay. Huawei wearable devices are compatible with Huawei devices and the health application is actually installed, pre-installed on all Huawei devices. And then for Android devices and iOS devices, you can also download the health application and use the health application to connect with your Huawei wearable device. So yes, it's compatible, broadly compatible with a wide range of devices in market. A lot of people on the internet are asking, fair question, are Huawei watches good? 
Well, I mean, you look at the data, Huawei is number one in wearable shipments worldwide in Q1 of 2024. So that tells us that Huawei wearables are loved by consumers all around the world. I think where Huawei does really well in the wearable space is that they provide a product experience for different types of consumers, no matter age or uh, no matter the fitness or health journey that individuals are on. You're thin and you're good looking and, and you're probably working out four or five times a week and so you may look for a fitness based product and you are also design savvy I can tell based on your clothing choice today. So your device for you may be a fashionable fitness product. So you know, watch GT5 which is our latest of uh, fashion plus fitness device it would be a good choice for you and it's got this really cool octangular uh, watch face design, it's using titanium materials in the case and the bezels. So like you're really kind of like aerospace grade titanium design and aesthetic in conjunction with some of the most advanced scientific sports and, and health functionalities. For other consumers that like to play golf or dive to the depths of the ocean, we've got Watch Ultimate. Uh, and for those that are really interested in blood pressure and understanding hypertension, we've got Huawei Watch D2. So Huawei is very strong in having a specific device that can support different types of consumers in that fitness and health journey. I would just like to make it clear for the entire internet right now that Robert thinks I'm good looking and I exercise <laughs> a lot and have great fashion. <laughs> One last question. Sure. You're an expert in smart wearables. What does the future look like? And I think that there is huge potential. Huawei is one of the few companies around the world that actually has research and development labs and health labs in various countries around the world exploring scientific health, scientific fitness, and you know, device experience and, and aesthetics as well. So I think for the future of wearable devices, you're going to see you know, more exciting designs, more incredible aesthetic, more accurate data directly on your wrist uh, with better algorithms and sensors and so on and so forth. The flip side of that is wearable devices in the past focused mainly on you know, sports modes and fitness data, uh, but you're now starting to see these devices being closer to health-based products. Watch D2, for example, it, it is actually measuring your blood pressure every 30 minutes at nighttime while you're sleeping and you can download a blood pressure management report and provide that with, to your doctor okay. um, at a professional medical institution. And the blood pressure management capabilities of this device are already certified in various countries around the world by uh, trusted you know, medical certification organizations. And so I think that that's the future direction for wearable products is more advanced health and scientific sports. Robert, thank you for your time. It's a really interesting conversation, <laughs> beautiful devices. And for everyone out there who's watching, please stay tuned for the next episode of Huawei Decoded.